Okay, guys. I am back. And uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to look at the second book by Andy Smith. Give me a minute for a second. Okay, I'm back. This one is the second book by Andy Smith. And this is a great book. Um, even though I'm not too crazy about manga, but the techniques and the methods are really good. So let's get started. Um, again, you could actually get the plastic uh, thinner paper and trace over and do your own techniques unless you wanna, you know, do his uh, methods. Here's the contents. And pretty much like every how to draw book tells you what to get. The tables, everything you need, the desk, everything you need to do your comics or your drawings, really doesn't matter. Bristol board, micro pen, everything pretty much Many of you already know all these things, so I'm going to go a little faster to show you the good stuff. And this is really cool right here. I mean, you can take a plastic and uh, do your own thing. You could see if I can, here we go. Yeah, you can be creative and do your own style. For example, Now let's look at it in white paper. See? Pretty neat, huh? And you can do erase it and practice on another technique. Let's try um, scribbling, see how this works.
it. So now let's see how it looks on white paper. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now let's do it the way he does it, which I already know pretty much how he works. And let's uh, make this a little cleaner. So let's do it the way he does it. area Let's see Yeah, not bad. All right, let's continue. Let's uh, clean this up and let's continue with the rest of the pages because we got some more methods and techniques that we got to practice. And uh, it looks like this plastic had it already, so I'm probably going to have to wet it again and just make it brand new again. All right, so yeah, you can get your plastic and put it on top of any image, including the lady if you want you could actually start this is more like manga and what's really cool about this because it's got a, a lot of great details on muscles and the anatomy so this is pretty awesome the way he did this awesome 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 then we got more muscles over here the back side and of course the back side looks a little bit more different from the front side And the basic shapes, the mannequin for the woman also. Shapes in action, pelvic, and the dummy figure technique. So many people use this technique, which they actually. Um, I'll show you right now. We'll do something pretty much like this. Let me get my own. Um, Use my black pencil. Yeah, and they'll do something like um, that. And then they'll do the uh, pelvic. And I've seen a lot of artists do stuff like this. And then they'll use joints like this, sort of like a, a dummy or a action figure toy pose. <clears throat> Something like that, see? So in a way, I'm gonna do it for you flat, so you, that way you understand sometimes you got to do it flat to understand how it works like that then the joints like this then the lines for the legs some people would do stuff like this and i remember when i was in new york it was the school that i went to but that school was a failure but there was one artist that you know an artist there that gave me an idea 
that you can actually do something like this, sort of like a mannequin, like that, and then the joints, and then the lines, like that. I know um, something that I saw by Romero that Romero would do something like this kind of uh, which I'm going to show you which I think I showed it to you already but just in case I'm going to show it to you again and then the joints And then the legs. And then he starts shaping the limbs to the legs. Sometimes he'll use some cylinders like that. The chest area and the head. So there's so many ways to do the mannequin unless you want to do the old fashioned Loomis style. You can use the Loomis something like this that's more like a like the Loomis method and stuff all right so let's keep going with the book so you can see pretty much it's actually sort of like a mannequin you see and let's uh, put this away so See, it's like a mannequin. And then it has, uh, you know, the spiral technique to do the arms for shortening the arm. That's sort of like a cylinder, but like a spiral. And, and this is really cool because um, you're actually doing the, the, the length of the arm with this circle technique that you see over here. Pretty interesting. So this could be done. Let's go turn the change. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Alright. Do it like this. And I'm gonna do a stance. joints legs let me stand up because I can't really see in this position oh. Insert out the legs like that. See. So it's pretty much what you see here. All right, let's turn the page. Here we got legs right here, which is really cool. Sort of the spiral method. That's a great pose right there. Notice the foreshortening. And this is a real cool technique by using the stick figure and adding the, the parts, sort of like a mannequin. But of course you start off with the stick figure first. Awesome. 
Looks like a, a manga, manga Wonder Woman. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool. And then here we have the face, kind of like the Loomis style, but this is definitely going to be like, you know, manga style face. Profile. The three quarter view. Quarter view, different poses, and just like the other book, you can do shapes on the faces to create various types of uh, creative, uh, funny faces, or you know, more like character design. And then we have the eyes using the ball and the circle technique. lips and the heads again emotions and mood and expressions of course this all has to do with his expressions Drawing hands and feet. The foot, the feet. Feet again. Drawing dynamic panels and pages. So I'm going to go a little faster so you can see pretty much what this book is all about. And then we'll continue working with techniques and methods. Thinking. So it shows you a little bit of everything, inking, details, flashes, whatever, different types of inking, different styles, inking a page. Okay, so it's a very good book. It's by Andy Smith. It's Drawing American uh, Manga. And uh, let me show you some of the, the techniques from the book. It's something that I could probably remember, of course. Um, uh, and I also saw it. He actually gave me a demonstration because I asked him, how is it that you do uh, your superheroes with a stick figure? So he gave me uh, sort of like an idea how to do a stick figure. So let's do the pose from this book or something. Let me see. Uh, let's do this one right here. So, the way he did it was something like this.
I'm gonna try to do the same pose. But I gotta remember this is sort of like for shortening and it's sort of like a three-quarter view pose. So I have to be careful with this one, of course. This arm is coming this way. And the head is sort of like tilted. Okay, so the next thing he does is what you know, of course the chest is gonna be a really big. So what he does is he starts um shaping the outline of the body at the same time doing you know the anatomy parts which the book actually shows you the different parts of the body and it's sort of like a mannequin that's what he does so so I'm going to do sort of like a shortcut at the same time and and at the same time I'll show you pretty much what he does when he does his uh, superheroes um, I just want to make sure you guys can see this Oh, no wonder the camera's like, Jesus. I'm gonna make sure they guys, okay. Hold on. All right. So, if you look at this, there's the waistline here, right? So what he does is he does the waistline, right? And then he does a grid line, like that, see? And then, this part of the uh, the pelvic and then of course he shapes the pelvic sort of like the you could actually see the socket like that that's the way he does his um, superheroes and the chest area right here and then at the same time then uh, this would be the neck right here and then he'll do the rest of the outline of the limbs but at the same time he kind of like does you know cylinders but when he does his demonstrations especially when he does the you know the time lapse he doesn't use all this he just simply starts doing sort of like a gesture form figure and then he adds the parts of the body and all that but this is a, another way of course this is the classical way which is done by a couple of comic book artists, they do it this way. So that's how he does his figure. So I'm going to save this and actually post it. show you how he did the woman is the same thing the waistline the shape of her body of course the woman's body is going to be more uh, wider of course here's the v-shape the crotch area then he did the leg this and that of course he did the same process as like I showed you right now and then he did pretty much pretty much the same except that the body is you know sort of like an hourglass shape for a woman so always got to remember that so I'm gonna save this also and probably maybe do some more poses here and then post it later on let me put all this away okay let me see what time is it because later on my brother's gonna come so it's 12 39 okay so I still got time all right so we finished this book and now we're going to actually start working with the techniques here's another one I want to share with you guys and this is really cool so what we're gonna do here is we're going to do an oval shape right that's what we're gonna do an oval shape vertical line for the center of the face and of course this is going to be my eye line right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different color I'm going to indicate the size of the head like that see and it's sort of like a, a box shape if you look at this these lines here that I did is sort of like a box shape 
that's what we're going to do. And uh, the next move I'm going to do is indicate where my eyes are going to be. Right. And then, the next thing I'm going to do is sort of like the David Finch technique, but first I want to work with the nose. That would be my nose. This will be my mouth, bottom of the lip, and of course the chin is correctly done here. So now what I could do is uh, I could do the outline of the eyebrow here and the outline of the plane in between where the bridge of the nose is going to be. At the same time, I'm going to work with the nose. Okay, do the temple part of the head. And now I can do sort of like either the George Bridgman or, the, you know, believe it or not, the David Finch technique is almost like the George Bridgman. There's no doubt about it. Okay, so you do it like this, that, that. And I'm just going to do half of the face. So that way you can see the process over here, the box shape and everything. So. Now I'm going to do the uh, ears and then the shape of the jaw, mouth, filter, and the shape of the jaw, and then the neck. Hairline should be around here. Now I'll do the uh, shape of the hair right here. Awesome. See, the same process that, that I that you see over here, I did it over here. See. Okay. Now we're going to work with the pelvic, and this is a, a different process right here. So actually, we're going to use another page, and I'm going to save this for in case I have to do another face, and then we'll do pretty much. Um, so here's the, uh, the torso, right? And then we're gonna simply do a circle for the hip area. So that's what we're gonna do. And then now, what I'm gonna do now is the waistline like that. Make the waistline here. And then I'm gonna do sockets, see? Do sockets. And then line for the leg. Another line for the leg here another joint right there and this will be the upper chest right here so all I have to do is visualize where that crotch is going to be at and remember that the man's crotch is a little thicker more wider here and then when you're drawing a woman say you're drawing a woman right your, the hips are more wider and of course the sockets a little just a little higher and then, of course, the crotch is sort of like a V shape, okay? So it's a big difference from the man's crotch area, okay? Always keep that in mind, all right? So, okay, so now I could con continue drawing an outline like this. And then right here, I have the legs coming out. And then I can continue with the muscles.
Now, I don't know if I did this right because I need a lot of practice with muscles. So it's not easy drawing muscles. So I'm going to try to do my best to do the muscles. I could also use reference in drawing muscles. So I could go back to The problem is that uh, Andy Smith and Bart Sears, they exaggerate the muscles too much. So I gotta pick something that's uh, more like human-like. So I'm thinking of making a video on drawing muscles. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a video on drawing muscles. But for now, I'm just gonna give you an idea how, how this is done. The socket for the arms, of course. So for the woman, of course, it's uh, practically um, almost the same thing. You're going to make the oval a little bit bigger, of course. And then here's the waistline right here. And the hips, of course, is going to be a little bit, you know, a little bit wider, of course. And then you're gonna do the sockets for the woman. Sockets right here. And then do the V-shape. The crotch area should be sort of like a V-shape because she's feminine. And then we can do the legs closing in. Measure, joints. And then simply, this will be the waistline right here, right? And then you're just gonna do it, sort of like tracing over what you just did, like that. And then you're gonna form her legs. Crotch area in between her legs. And that's it. That's more like a woman's hip area. And that actually works out pretty fine. Okay, so let's continue with something else. Um, I'm gonna save this also. I might do something with that later. And let's do, we did this one already. We did this one already. Okay, so this one is by Sir Pino. And of course, it's the Loomis method. He was actually, he did a video in Spanish um, and unfortunately, most of his videos are in Spanish, but I'm going to help you understand it. So it's sort of like the Loomis method, and it has a little bit of a Riley method, and it has a little bit of, you know, I would say um, Hogarth, kind of, the way Hogarth draw his face, or even like George Bridgman. So we're going to do this one here. And... Uh, we're gonna start, let me bring this a little closer. All right. Circle again. Vertical line. This will be the center line for the eyebrow line, of course. And then we'll do the eye line, of course and then the nose, just like the Loomis method. It's very similar to the Loomis method, it's just a little bit different, it's just, uh, it's gonna have like sort of like a, a Riley effect, so you'll see what I mean. Then we're gonna slice off, you know, this side of the circle and this side of the circle. So the next thing that he did, and pretty much like the Loomis method, of course, Here's the bridge of the nose, right? And this will be the bottom of the nose right here. We can shape the nose right there. And then I, what he does next is the, of course, uh, a hint of the mouth. Now I'm not gonna ex exaggerate, draw the mouth too wide because first I wanna, you know, uh, get it over with, with the eyes and then I'll continue with the mouth. 
Then again, you know, I could always do this technique here to figure out where things go. I could do that too also, but I'll just leave it like that for now. Okay, so now what he does is he uh, starts doing um, sort of like uh, the George Bridgman technique. It's sort of like a, a line here, which is actually the plane of the eye. So the eye is in here, and this will be sort of like the plane. So, the next thing he does, um, he starts doing the ears. Then the ear over here on this side. And the ear here, okay. So after that, the next thing he does is the cheek lines. Okay. And then he does sort of like the Riley effect, kind of like the Riley effect. Then I notice he did some type of circle here, which is sort of like the Riley effect. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to continue with the nose, fix the nose a little bit, fix the nostrils, the corner of the nose, of course. I got to fix the bottom of the nose, right? Corner over here, the filter. And then after that, what I'm going to do is, let me see something. I'm going to start working <clears throat> with the shape of the face. So I'm going to continue. Uh, after I do the ears, I'm going to do the jaw. Taper in, bend down, go all the way right here. So that would be my chin. And then I can continue, but this didn't come out right. So i got to fix this nose just a little bit. Then I'm going to do the eyes. I can do the circle for the eyes if I want. And I can just make the corner of the mouth a little bit wider. And now I can continue with the eyes right there. And after that, do a hint of an eyebrow there. Now, this part right here that I slice off, of course, I'm going to make more shape, which that's going to be the top of the head, all the way up, like that. Okay. The plane in between where the bridge of the nose is, near the eye. And then do some more muscle toning here. If you want to make it look like a superhero, you could do it this way also. But don't forget, there's people that have those marks on their face. Sean Connery is one of them. It's like a dimple. You know, cheekbones and a dimple at the same time. Arch eyebrows. That's the way Sean Connery kind of like looks a little bit. And then the bottom of the lip. And then the neck. Okay, so that's the way you do this, and this by Sir Pino. So I actually did more studies on him. So let's do this one right here. Uh, this one is a different approach, so we're going to do this one right here. So what he does is he does a, an oval, okay? So that's what he does, an oval, a vertical line. Then he does the eyebrow line. Then he does the nose line. Then he does the mouth line. And after that, what he does is he starts working with uh, the hint of the eyebrows right here and then the other eyebrow here. That's the way he did this lady that he then the nose, I'm not going to do it the way he did it. I'm just going to use a triangle method for the nose. Because what he did was little circles. A circle for the center and a circle for the corners of the nose. But I'm not going to do it that way. I'm, I'm, I'm so used to using the triangle or the pyramid. You know, that's the way I do my uh, faces. Okay, so now um, I'm going to go up make another line here and right on top of this line will be the eye
Give me a minute, guys. Look at my uh, watch. Okay, so pretty much what he did, well, I did this, but, you know, he, he did it just a little bit different. So after I do the eyes, and let me just fix the eyes just a little better. So the next thing that he does, he starts working with the banging of the hair, the bang, the shape. So he did sort of like a line like this, and then he did the hair like that. Then right around here, he starts working with the shape of the face. And then he tapers in right here and goes all the way down to where the chin area is. Let's do this correct. Yeah, like that. Sort of like a diamond shape. Then he tapers in tapers in here and of course the mouth has to be done then the ears so remember that when you're doing the shape of the face you have to sort of like visualize it as a diamond shape okay that's very important, sort of like a diamond shape. Then you taper in right here until you get the correct proportion of the face. Neck. Okay, so we have an idea how he did this one right here. So all we have to do is go back on the video and always look at it again. Okay, so now we're gonna do uh, this technique right here. Now let me show you, there's several ways he did this. Um, let me see if I can remember this. Let's see. Okay. This one is a different approach and I wanna make sure that the camera can see this. lines again nose mouth chin <clears throat> now let me see if I can remember this I'm gonna do the eyes Make sure it's even on both sides, the eyes, okay? It's the nose. What I should have done, I should have done the bridge of the nose first, and then, yeah, well, I, so far it looks okay. Then the nose right here. Okay, so now... The line is going to be right where the eyes are. Now, this is a little bit different because usually the Loomis method, you know, the when you chop off the circle, is not that close to where the eyes are. So this is going to be different. So bear with me. You might like this. You might not. Let's see. Uh, I kind of liked it. I mean, I like the challenge. You know what I mean? And so it, it might work for you guys. So... Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work with the eyebrows, right? And what do we do next? This is where the temple is, right? Actually, over here. And then, pretty much like we did over here, we're going to do... A diamond but first we got to do the hairline now let's not forget the hairline we're gonna do a diamond shape see 
it's like you're doing the shape of the face and I'm gonna do it only on one side because I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this like that so that way you can see this when I post it so this would be like the shape of the face okay and let's fix the nose on this side only and this side right here and then let's fix the mouth of course and I keep forgetting I don't know why I keep forgetting I should when I do small details like this I should work with the mechanical pencil better it's just lately I've been getting used to using the color pencils but using the mechanical pencil you can actually finish the details more better so notice that the face is taking form see and we got to remember that the woman's chin is smaller so this might work for you guys you never know I mean then the ears will actually do the ears here and the neck see so the process is that of course the the chopped the you know the sliced part is closer to the eyes but it doesn't make any difference because you're going to actually shape the face afterwards you're going to give it more shape okay let me fix this a little better cheek lines and right here is the jaw see that's it okay so now that we've done this uh let's uh work with this one right here and this was a cool drawing that he did i think he was drawing i'm not really sure i think he did uh snoopy dog let me put this away because i want to save this actually we'll do it right here so before we go on let me show you what uh, Serpino was trying to show us here he does pretty much like he usually does you know the three line effect you know whatever and then he starts shaping the shape of the face then after that what he does is he starts the ears then after he does the ears he does the nose then he does the rest of the features so let's see if we can do this one I'm going to try to do it the way he did it. And like always, I'm always changing something. So this will be the eyebrow line, another line for the nose, another line for the chin. And then what we're going to do now, we're going to shape the head. We can start off sort of like a box shape and then at the same time shape the uh, the shape of the face. So if you want, you can actually visualize a box shape. You don't really have to draw a box shape, but you know, you visualize it and then you start shaping the face. Okay. So now what we're going to do now is um, we're going to start off with uh, the ears. That's the way he did it. He did the ears. Right? And then right around here, he started working with the nose. Then he did, I think he did, yeah, the bridge of the nose here. Then he did the uh, eyebrows. So this eyebrow went a little higher. That's the way this illustration he did. So, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to visualize the eyes right on top of this orange line that I did now. So this drawing that he did was a black man. So um, the nostril is a little bit bigger. So the eyes are going to be 
a little bit closer to where the nose is. Okay, so we'll give it effect that this is a black man. So, and then um, the eyes. And then what he did next was he did the shape. Of course, he did the mouth. So it's not going to look like a Snoopy dog, so, because he did a great and excellent drawing of Snoopy dog, uh, Snoop's dog, um, the rapper. So I'm just going to try to draw a regular black man with a little goatee, that's it. And then I'm going to do some planes for the cheekbones, of course. And now we're going to do the shape of the head. So this will be the hairline. So I'm gonna actually pass that because the head is gonna be bigger, of course. So that's the hairline. And let's do this in black. Okay, so that didn't come out so bad. So that's this, the same thing that I just did right now is this right here. So that's uh, also by Serpino. Let me write that down, Serpino method. Okay, so let's go on with the next page and let's do this one right here. This is also by Serpino, um, and it's almost like uh, the Loomis method. And it's pretty much like the one we did before, but this one, I did it a little bit different. So what Serpino did was he used big circles to do the eyes, but I did it a little bit different. I kind of like scribble in the eyes. So let's see where I'm gonna do this. Um, let's do it right here. Pay attention what I'm going to do, okay? So that way you guys can practice this. It's, it's going to be fun to do. All right, right here's the center of the face. The center over here again, horizontal, that's for the eyebrow line. And then right here would be the eye line. And then the nose line. At the same time, I could do like a triangle thing to give me an idea. Then the mouth is going to be here. So there's going to be a woman, of course. You can tell by the oval. Usually when I draw a woman, I use sort of like an oval method there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off the eyes. And from the nose the corner of the nose and go up and scribble in the shape of the eye over here scribble in the shape of the eye over here so I have the eyes there now now what I could do is I can work with the eyebrows just a hint of the eyebrows that's about it now after I do that I bring in the line uh, just a little bit outward 
Let me see something for a second. Hold on. Yeah, just a little bit outward like this, just a little bit. On the other demonstration, I did it closer to the eyes, but this is just going to be sort of like the Loomis method. And uh, okay, so that's what I'm going to do now for now. So now I'm going to use my mechanical pencil better. I could start. I'm going to do only one side of the eye so you guys can understand what I'm doing here, okay? Here's the bridge of the nose. Here's the eyebrow, right? And the next thing I'm going to do now is do the temple, the hairline, and then I'm going to do that diamond shape again, see? A diamond shape and then the cheek lines and then start tapering the shape of the face all the way down to where the chin is see how simple and then from here you're gonna do the uh, the neck so let's fix this a little better here So you see this whole line I did here is sort of like a, a diamond shape. Now I could actually work with the lips. Ursula Andress, Ursula Andress, Ursula Andress look from the James Bond movie, Dr. No. She had her hair combed back. Very beautiful woman. So I, I only, I'm only going to start, you know, just do half of it because this looks so cool that I'm going to post it so you can see how it all worked out so this side is sort of like the process and this side is just half finished that's it well almost finished it's just not you know i just gotta add a little bit more details here yeah now it's better perfect well, there's no such thing as perfect, but it looks better, way better. Okay, so now you have an idea how this is done, step by step. So let's try that same technique doing the three-quarter view. So we're going to do it up here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let's see something. Hold on. Yeah, I guess you could. All right. So let me get comfortable. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same method um, using the Loomis method but of, of course we're gonna do the uh, the eyes so here's the eyebrow line then the nose and then here's the chin so <clears throat> pretty much like we we did the front view we're going to do the eyes and the eyes we're going to sort of like scribble in the eyes and this eye is going to be further out of course because it's a three-quarter view so this eye is going to be closer to the vertical line because it's a three-quarter view and for shortening to at the same time so so this eye is going to be here and this eye is here so what's next we simply look at the temple part, which divides the face. 
and then what we're going to do is we're going to do pretty much like Romero does and we'll do some cheek lines here and cheek lines over here and then let's not forget the mouth right there so I'm gonna do this in in ink so you can see pretty much what I'm showing you guys here okay so it's beginning to look like a face I just got to be careful with this okay because even though I have the eyes and the nose and the mouth and it's beginning to look like a face but I got to be careful when I construct the outside of the face and then the jaw so this is what I'm gonna do I'm going to visualize the jaw first okay and then I'm going to bring this in and then slice a little bit here see and then I got my face right there could do an oval for the chin there you go so I'm gonna mark this <clears throat> this one is first and then this one is second and then right here is third and then right here would be fourth just like I did right now so it's a it's a pretty good technique because you're starting off with the eyes first you know what I mean and then right here very easily you'll be able to do the nose a triangle shape like that and then right here is the corner of the contour of where the, the plane of the eye is. And then this line here, you could actually do the rest of the face. You see? And right here, let's see, we could do a oval. Just to do the effect of the shape of the mouth. See how simple it is? It's not so hard. I mean, if you really concentrate little by little, you will get this, people, okay? All right, so let's do this one right here. This is a different one. And this is also by Sir Pino. So we'll do it right here on this side right here. I just want to make sure you guys can see this. Uh, yeah, I guess you could. All right, so we're going to do a circle again. And then we're going to do the center. Okay. And right here is the eyebrow line. And then we'll do the circle. Actually, no, I'm doing this wrong. Hold on a second. Hold on for a second. Hold on. I'm doing this wrong. No, I know what to do. Hold on. Okay. We'll do the circle. The horizontal line for the eyebrow line. Then we can do that oval. Okay. After that, <clears throat> we do the line for the ear that's gonna be the line for the ear so once we have that we're gonna visualize the center line right here okay that's where it should be and then the jaw will be around here but if I want I can indicate the nose first and then the chin better and then I add the jaw better it's way better so this will be the other side of the face so so far it's sort of like a, a three-quarter view and now the next thing we got to do 
is um, work with the features. But in order to do that, I gotta work with this eyebrow here first, and then do a hint of the nose, a hint of the eye line here. That way the nose will come out a little better. And then here's the mouth. And then after that, that's when we start working with a hint of the eye. We could scribble in the eye or we can shade in the eye socket if we want. It's whatever you guys want to do. Then over here, we can scribble in the eye on this side. So now we can work with the planes of the face, which is the um, cheek lines. We got this already. And then the ear goes over here. And then we sort of like bring this in the contour of the face. and then slice a little bit the circle. You see? Now that came out pretty cool. So you just gotta, you know, um, little by little, practice these formulas. Some of them are from Serpino and some of them, I, you know, did some changes, so. That way you, it'll be easier to understand. Okay, let me check the time. And uh, if, if it's not too late, I'll do this one right here, which is really cool. Or we could leave it for tomorrow. You know what, guys? I think, we'll, I think we did enough. So we'll leave it for tomorrow. We'll continue with more Serpino. There's like maybe two more pages, three more pages of Serpino. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to work on Serpino, and we're going to study how he does pretty much we already did this already so all we got to do is work with sir pino all right guys thank you for watching and uh if you're new please subscribe because i'll be doing more uh more videos and i actually promised one guy that i'm going to do uh animals which i have two great books how to draw animals so that should be fun the problem is that i'm so focused on heads and figures and this and that whatever eyes nose whatever three-quarter views, front view, side views, whatever. I'm so hooked up with it, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's gonna take, you know, some time for me to actually accept that I gotta draw something else, like maybe animals, cats, dogs, whatever. But that will come soon, okay? So anyway, good luck with your artwork and keep practicing. And thank you for watching.